Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing my full fire alarm collection as of December 15th, 2022. So let's get started. So as you can see, this is basically a tradition. Pretty much every year I lay out every single device I own uh, all over the floor and then show it off. So uh, let's start from the top. So over here we have my Demco pull station. So this is supposed to have a disc there but it doesn't have one so it just pulls like that i have an auth bell this is a ac bell um adt pull station adt rebranded bg12 i have an amsico uh remote strobe uh i have an amsico bell uh motor horn it's a bosch pull station here i have a cerberus pyrotronics uh single action pull station it's currently open so it's not pulling but it would just pull like that I have a Cerberus Pyrotronics pull station. Um, here I have a double action variant. Again, this one's open, so it doesn't uh, pull. This one pulls just like that one, and this one's new in box. Um, here I have a uh, release fire extinguishing system, so you just pull that like that. Then I have a different one. This one's French, and it has a key switch built in, which is pretty cool. Then I have this strobe um this is a siemens umhst or something it's a sync version of a ummt um then i have two ummts so these are both white and ceiling mount which makes them extra rare and they are also brand new i literally just took them out of the box for this video um here we have this this is a mechanical horn strobe fci multi-tone horn strobe and then i have this mechanical horn strobe with the magnifying lens pretty cool then I have a frosted variant, and then I have two of these smaller uh, versions of this. They just look pretty cool, so that's why I have two of them. Strobe-only version of those, and then I have this uh, horn, which is pretty neat. Next row. So here we have a Firelight BG-10, nice and standard. This is just a BG-10L. Over here we have a Spectronics variant of a Notifier pull station. It is really hard to pull with one hand. Um, pulls just like this one. So this is a BNG one. This is a Firelight BG12 SL, single action BG12. Here we have a Firelight BG8, nice and simple. Um, this is a Notifier Agent Release BG12, regular Notifier BG12. Uh, two Firelight BG6s. These both pull exactly the same. Um, here I have a Johnson Controls BG-10, so, uh, two BG-12s, nothing too special about those. Then we have two Fenwall Wheelock MTs, one is Agent Release, which is cool. Uh, here I have a, uh, Fenwall MS-2, it pulls a regular MS-2. Uh, Faraday Chevron, this one's actually brand new, I took it out for the video. Then I have these AIM security poles. So this is just a break glass station that releases that button. And then this is a key activated station. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a uh, first generation Fenwall MS2. This is a first generation Fenwall or FCI MS6. This is a newer MS6. It's basically the same. It's just a little newer. And I have this one. This one's fast. Our FAST. Uh, I don't know what key this takes, so it's already opened, but that's that. And then I have a nice and standard FCI MS2, probably the most common ones. This is a Federal Signal 4050001T, Federal Signal Remote Light, not strobe, it's a light. Uh, then I have these two Federal Signal 4050 horns with these VALS strobes on them. These are pretty cool. And then I have this FI Quench or whatever uh, Halon horn strobe, which is also really neat. So going into the next row, here I have a Firelight branded uh, 4050, basically. This one's HD. I have this Annunciator. This actually would work with my system. I just don't know where to put it. I have a Firelight BG5. This one is a pain to pull. Uh, I have a Halon BG10. I have a Silent Night BG12. Uh, over here, I have a Silent Night uh, SD pull station. It pulls just like a BG8. Here I have a Honeywell... Um, forget the model but it is it, it pulls just like that then this is a game wall sentry pulls like that this is really similar to those adt pull stations i showed um then we have these two grinnell or rsg pull stations so these just you lift that and then you pull this bar down nice and simple pretty high quality pull stations then i have a bunch of 270 spos I'm only going to pull like this one just because some of them have glass rods. So this is a Canadian version uh, in English. This is just a local alarm pull station. This is a 
another version of that. Uh, just another local alarm version. Uh, this is an AIP one, so that's why it's all red and doesn't have those gray stripes. Um, this is a really cool one. So this is Canadian, and it also has this dual action part. So you lift that up or actually pull it down, and then you pull this handle. Um, color, just a generic SPO. This one's unique. So this is bilingual, and also the handle is plastic. So it's a pretty rare variant. Uh, and then we have a couple more newer ones. So this is an EST uh, conventional unit. This one just has a screw reset. Then these, this one is just a dual action version of that. This is a key act or it has a key lock and it's the dual action version of that. Um, then I have two of these. So these are really rare actually. So this one's new. I actually took it out of the box for this or that one's new. And then this one's even cooler. This one's bilingual. So yippee. Um, this right here is a coated pull station, so you just pull that. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Um, and then it spins that code wheel in the back. Can't really see it too well. Actually, you can. Then I have a bunch of Genesis units. So these are horn strobes and strobes. So uh, this one has a trim plate, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So next row, we have the Gentex commanders and stuff. So here we have a white commander three strobe, uh, yellow customized commander two, um, Gentex commander three horn strobe, uh, Gentex commander two, but branded by national time. This is a commander three on its back box, commander three remote strobe. Um, over here I have a commander four ceiling mount. Uh, and then I have two of these Edwards uh, 892 horn strobes or something like that. They are old and they sound like fog horns. Going over here, I have a bunch of integrity. So that is a speaker strobe. Uh, that is a red speaker strobe. That's a horn strobe, I believe. And I have two of these pre-integrity uh, horn strobes. I have a Edwards integrity strobe, mini horn strobe. Uh, and then two more horn strobes, I believe. Over there, I have a ceiling mount amber uh, speaker strobe. Then I just have a regular ceiling mount fire speaker strobe. And I have two of these uh, wall mount fire speaker strobes. So one of them has no lettering, other one has lettering. This actually has the older lettering, older font from when they were produced like that. You can see the old logo. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then I have a ceiling mount horn strobe, nice and simple. And then I have a wall mount remote horn. So over here, I have a Commander 1 horn strobe. It's just unmarked, uh, nothing too special. I have two of these uh, speaker strobes, pretty neat. Then I have a bunch of Gentex GXS remote strobes. So this is an older one. This is an older one. This is a slightly newer one. Uh, I have an SHG right there, and then a SHG uh, style mini horn. Um, then I have two True Alert speaker strobes in red, and then one in white with the, um, the uh, skirt, which is pretty nice. I have a white ceiling mount true alert speaker strobe. This one is smart sync slash selectable, so it can be free run or sync depending on how you want. I have a white true alert horn strobe, a red true alert horn strobe, red true alert remote strobe, a red true alert horn, quick alert or early true alert horn strobe. Then I have an electronic 4903. The model of this is 490390. 237 and then i have a couple more of that exact model except they have cages which is neat and then i have some simplex 4903 mechanical units i believe one of these is a 9219 and the other one is a 9200 which is extra rare and then going down here uh this is a t-bar nice and simple pretty new i suppose uh not much to say another t-bar this one is addressable and it has its trim plate which is kind of nice and then this one is a uh, another one just like that. So for here, I have a Simplex Life Alarm speaker strobe. Pretty nice. It's kind of like a 2903. It has its back box. Then I have an actual 2903 with an old speaker on it, uh, also on its back box. Then I have a 2903 strobe plate and then a 2903 light plate. This one has a 9838 behind it, and this one has a uh, some sort of vibratone horn. Um, then I have this nice gray... 4050 or 4051. This one's actually cool because it's 24 volts DC, which is nice. I have this chime. I have this 4050 with a dual projector on it. Then I have another 4051 on this ceiling mount strobe plate. Then I have this wall mount strobe plate with a Atlas sound speaker on it. I have a uh, nice old horn combo. 
Uh, this also has its back box, which is pretty cool. And then I have the exact same thing, just a sideways version. Then I have a speaker strobe uh, on a ceiling mount or a ceiling mount light plate or a strobe plate with a uh, old simplex speaker on it. I have a newer simplex speaker, kind of like a 29 or a 4903 style speaker on a, one of those strobe plates. I have another uh, 4903. This one is a uh, mechanical horn. And then I have a 4903 um, ceiling mount uh, modular adapter plate with a electronic horn on it. And then I have four miscellaneous uh, 4904 style strobes. Pretty nice. Then I have two of these 4251-30s. So these are brake glass poles. These are actually in really nice shape for their age. You can see they're pretty shiny. Um, I mean, good condition. Then I have a slightly newer version. This one is missing the glass, but it just pulls like that. 4251-20, nice and simple. This one has a grooved bar, whereas this one has a completely filled in solid bar, which is neat. Here I have a simplex chevron. Here I have a couch. Chevron. It's not really simplex, but it's similar enough, I suppose. Um, I have Spectral Alert Classic ceiling mount horn strobe. Two wall mount units. One has the snap in, and then the other one has the screw. Then I have a white version. This one's a little yellowed, but this one has the snap. Two footprint mount units. So this one's just a strobe. This one's a horn strobe. A white classic strobe. Um, white ceiling mount speaker strobe. Red wall mount speaker strobe. Uh, let's get into the advances. So this right here is a PC2W. This is a MHW, which is a mini horn. This is a P2W, so a white horn strobe. This right here, I believe, is a P2 or P4R. Yeah, so that's a P4R. This right here is a P2R. This is a SCR. Um, this is a SR, which is just a wall strobe. This is a ceiling strobe. A PC2R, which is a ceiling mount horn strobe. And then finally, a P2RK. This is a outdoor horn strobe. Um, obviously, it's not outside right now because it's, you know, on the floor. <laughs> um, over here, I have a system sensor low frequency horn strobe. This is a, uh, I don't know the model. It's a something, I don't know. Then over here, I have a uh, SW, which is basically just a white version of that. So now we're getting into wheel locks. So this right here is actually a game wall branded wheel lock NS. Pretty neat. Uh, this is just a regular wheel lock NS. This is one of my first devices ever. Uh, this is a ceiling mount wheel lock NS in white. This is an agent release exceeder horn strobe or just remote strobe. This right here is an exceeder HSR horn strobe. And then this is another HSR. Um, over here, I have an RSS 24 MCW. This one's red. This one is the same thing, just with a white cover. Um, over here, I have a wheel lock ZNS, technically Siemens, but it's missing the Siemens sticker. Here, I have a Siemens uh, bilingual pull, or, uh, horn strobe, which is also pretty nifty. Um, this right here is a system sensor PA400R with the strobe attachment. It's really neat. Over here, I have this speaker strobe. So this right here is... Um, it's, I don't know the model, but it's it's basically just a ceiling mount speaker strobe with a mass strobe on it. Then I have this uh, wall mount strobe. This is a mass variant kind of thing, or SS24. I have a different SS24 uh, with the ceiling mount strobe. These are both new in box. I just took them out for the video. And then I have two of these speakers. Again, I also took them out for the video. Uh, I have this ADA mass, which is pretty neat. I think it's cool. And then I have this non-ADA mass, which is also pretty cool. Over here, I have a P2RL, just a standard generic horn strobe. You see these absolutely everywhere now. Um, they're decent units, I suppose. Then I have a low frequency unit, uh, pretty cool. And then a ceiling mount, SCRL. Uh, then I have this, this is actually brand new. Uh, this is a classic strobe. I took it out of the box just for this video. This right here is a Wheelock AS with the vertical uh, lettering. It's pretty cool. This is an AS 24 MCW. This was one of my first devices, or this was my first uh, working device. This is a 20, or this is a Wheelock AS. Uh, it's the same model as that. It's just in really nice condition, um, so I kept it. This is a 24, or this is a ceiling mount unit. Uh, again, same thing as those, just ceiling mount. And then this is an old, older boxier unit, as you can see. Um, but once again. It is just an AS. So over here, I have two of these Wheelock E70s. 
So this right here is an E70. This was originally a CH70, but I ended up just borrowing the chime off of it to put on a different unit, which I can actually show you later on. Um, this is a E... I don't know what the model is. It's, it's just a ceiling speaker, nothing too special about that. Here we have an outdoor exterior uh, speaker strobe. This one's pretty cool. Um, I have another outdoor strobe. And I have a nice and standard wheel lock. What is it, MT? No, it's an HS4, so it's basically just a wheel lock AS, just four wire. Uh, there's no tones or anything like that. Then I have an E50, so this is just a modern speaker strobe. Um, this is a wheel lock MT-LSM, or SLM actually. So the SLM instead of LSM means that this can actually sync uh, on wheel lock sync as opposed to the older stuff. This is a wheel lock MT dash what 24 IS. So that's that's neat. Uh, then this is a LS dash 24 strobe. Uh, nothing too special. Mini horn strobe. Then I have a RSS that mounts like that. Uh, this is a SLM speaker strobe. It's vandal resistant and it goes up to like eight watts. So it's crazy loud. Um, I have this. This is a uh, remote strobe. And then this is a EH-EL1 or something, and then this is a wheel lock MT once again. This is MT-WP-2475W. This right here is a small one. This one's really, really petite or small. And then I have a MIZ, nothing really special about it. Then I have this amber uh, strobe, it's marked by Siemens. And then I finally have this uh, frosted EH-EL1. Then if we go all the way down, I have uh, one of these things. Um, also, it's worth mentioning that I also have this, which is the same as those right there. And then also I have this, which is just a really poor and beat up version of the one I showed. But anyways, so this is a brand new Honeywell remote strobe. Pretty cool. Uh, this is a um, 7002T in really good condition too. This is a bell strobe of some sort by Wheelock. Uh, this is... Um, just a frosted speaker strobe. This is a really old version of that. It's pretty cool. And it was also brand new. And then I have this. This is a vandal resistant unit and also it has cool fire lettering. Then I have this HSD24, basically a rebranded 7002T. This is a 34T, which is a horn version of that. I have two of these brake glass wheel lock poles. Basically the way these work is you pull them, the handle like a T-bar and then it breaks this pane of glass. And then there's a button right behind the handle, and then the button releases, and then the alarm goes off. This Wheelock MPS-100 pole station, pretty neat. Um, over here, I have two of these uh, little LED strobes. One of them is white, the other one is red. Uh, they say fire on them, except for that one. This is a Gamewell Vid alarm, so this actually hangs from your ceiling. It's supposed to just screw into a regular light bulb, light bulb socket, and then it just beeps whenever uh, it detects something. Then I have this bell strobe thing. This is a LSM strobe, branded by Cerberus. Also has a Potter bell on top. This is an LED speaker strobe. This one's from New York Fire Alarm Tech. I actually just took it out of the box. Then I have this uh, speaker strobe, uh, and then a different one. This one's newer, and again, I took it out of the box. Same with this one. Um, this is a uh, black horn. It makes the same sound as uh, one of these almost just slightly modified. I feel like Wheelock might be the manufacturer of those, but I'm not sure. Then I have this uh, strobe light. This was originally a light, but I have one of those Space Age Infinity strobes behind it. Over here, I have a nice uh, Space Age AV32, and then I have a AV32, but this one had a bad strobe, so once again, I just put a uh, Space Age strobe behind that. This right here is pretty cool. So this is an IBM pull station. So this is coated. You can see the paint is just faded brown, unfortunately. But if you open it, you can pull this hook down. And it's, co it's a coated pull station. And it does exactly what you'd expect a coated pull station to do. It's a little uh, funky right now, but that's that. And then this is an IBM pull. So you just pull it. I actually restored this one. So that's why the paint on the front is extra shiny. I think it actually came out moderately okay. And then finally, I have this. This is modified. So this was originally just the front. I just built this wooden box for it a couple years back, and then I have a light switch. It's not legit at all, but it is, it's better than nothing. If we go finally, we have two more RSSs. These ones are fixed candela. Not fun, boo. 
Uh, then I have another one of these Faraday units. This one actually is for sale. Um, then I have this. This is a Commander 2 horn strobe. I have a Keta B5. Then I have this Mercom pull station. And then I have a life safety pull station. I have these generic units, call points, whatever. Uh, nothing really special about those. And that concludes this video. Um, I would like to point out that there are a couple units installed right now in on the actual system, such as those units right there. But for the most part, this is all of them. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next collection video in 2023. Farewell.